Okay. Well, let's see. So we have 200 gems, so we can legendary a couple of things. Um, so I guess I'll do that real quick. I'll like legendary these two, assuming I don't totally mess it up. <laughs> But yeah, I hope everybody is well today. Welcome, Orlo. Bienvenido. All right, let's uh, let's start. Vamos. Uh, well, I think I pressed maybe later. <laughs> Yo, what's up, player? Nice, nice. Yeah, legendary gives you a lot of experience. It's definitely like when you have super, uh, super Duolingo or Duolingo Plus or whatever it's called. Um, it's basically pay to win. <laughs> but you know, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, if it's definitely, um, it's definitely an interesting thing. I think uh, before legendary existed, it seems like it was at least a little bit more balanced as far as getting to the top. But at the same time, I think that um, given that uh, that Legendary does give you more experience, it probably lets more people get first place uh, in Diamond League instead of just like the same people who just have a billion hours to do Duolingo. You just do it for your streak. That's fair. <laughs> I'm mostly Legendarying stuff. Um just because this is supposed to be like me trying to 100% all of it, but. Un sandwich de carne con queso. Either way, it's not like yeah, it's not like super important or anything. Especially because even though you legendary, even if you legendary something, it's not like you necessarily are actually uh, an expert at whatever it is. Un sandwich de carne con queso. Sí, con queso, por favor. <laughs> There's a lot of people that have like really high streaks. It's it's kind of interesting to me how many people really um like keeping up their streaks on Duolingo. Cuz for some reason to me it's like my if if I had, I don't know. I think I just need to be more dedicated <laughs> cuz I'm like I I have such a hard time keeping up a streak. Sí, con queso, por favor. La ensalada con o sin sal. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. One, two. Una mesa para tres personas, por favor. Gracias. Uh, sin tomate, por favor. Uh, sin tomate, por favor. Una hamburguesa de carne, por favor. Con queso. Una hamburguesa de carne, por favor. Con queso. La hamburguesa es con queso, sí. Ella come una manzana. Yo bebo un jugo de uh, un jugo de naranja. Manzana. Ella come una manzana y yo bebo un jugo de naranja. Sí. And put you on unit seven. <laughs> that is, I mean, you know, unit seven's pretty far into span. Like, it takes a little bit of time to get into all that. But I bet your Spanish is better than that. I mean, the thing about Duolingo is it's certainly not perfect. Yo quiero una ensalada. Yo quiero una ensalada. Quiero. Quiero, sí. Uno, dos, tres. I wouldn't be surprised if, like, a lot of languages, even native speakers, might get placed lower than they think just because of how Duolingo is set up. Uno, dos, Tres. Right, it's mostly Mexican Spanish. That's the thing for sure. You're you're one hundred percent correct about that. Um, there, it's not like there's a lot of like Spanish, like Spaniard Spanish or Spanish from other countries, and it's, um, yeah, like it's not like Spanish in Mexico is one hundred percent the same. So it, it definitely is like very much Mexican Spanish, right? And that's the thing, like you're saying also, like there's some things that Mexicans say that just basically not a lot of other countries do. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Una, uh, una taza de café, por favor. Un vaso de agua, por favor. Taza, vaso. Por favor. Yo necesito pagar. Yo necesito pagar. I need to pay. Yo necesito pagar. Sin azúcar. Por favor. Sin azúcar, por favor. Por favor. Sin azúcar, por favor. 
sin azúcar, por favor. Right, yeah, yeah, exactly. Stuff like that. Like, um, I mean, like, there was stuff I learned in my Spanish class that Duolingo doesn't take, like, uh, using gorra to mean, like, a hat. It just, I don't even think gorra is on, <laughs> on Duolingo. I don't even know. But, like, um, it likes using sombrero as hat, um, or gorro, even though gorro is more like a, like a beanie. Yo necesito uh, la cuenta. ¿La cuenta? Sí. La cuenta. I'm trying to remember. Cuenta. Sí, I, I think it's cuenta. Yo, yo necesito la cuenta. La cuenta. Ah, sí. I was, I was Un doubting myself. I need to have confidence. Un sándwich de pescado. A fish sandwich. Un sándwich de pescado. I think that Duolingo does improve over time, though. Like, if you report that stuff enough, I think usually they kind of get to that stuff. Like, eventually. But, ¿qué vas a hacer por Navidad? Uh, yo voy a um, ir a uh, Las Vegas um, después uh, Navidad, pero... Um, uh, en la fe... En la, en la fecha en la fecha de navidad yo voy a um, visitar con mi familia y sí. eh, Las Vegas is not really that fancy it's kind of I mean it's like the closest big city to I mean it's like one of the closest destinations to Salt Lake so Las Vegas is like okay but it it sucks too. I, I'm not really a huge fan, but el año nuevo. Um, hmm. No sé. Yo yo voy a um, preparar preparar uh, preparar. No sé. <laughs> no sé la palabra. Uh, preparar para mi uh, 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 pre Próximo, la, la próxima semana, la próxima semestre, semestre la, pro, la, la próximo semestre, uh, el próximo semestre, <laughs> words, um, sí, uh, sí, no sé qué algo, uh, que, I don't know, what, how, how do you say what else, I forget. I'm not sure what else. What else in Spanish? ¿Qué más? No sé qué más. Sí. Learn language drops by Kahoot last year, and they were two types of Spanish. Mexican Spanish and Castilian Spanish. And that's cool. See, like, it's awesome that they actually offer that. Yeah, Castilian Spanish, right? Yeah. Um, I definitely think that's really cool. I forget. I think... Duolingo has Castilian, maybe not Spanish, but like Castilian language um, through Spanish. But yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it would be nice if there was like a little bit more variety to it because it, it is very much centralized on like Mexican Spanish. Anyway, yo como en yo er, yo, yo como, yo tiene. Como? <laughs> Yo como en un restaurante. Restaurante. I'm eating in a restaurant. Or I eat in a restaurant. Also, as I know Japanese, but it's limited. Oh, cool. If you want to be technical, it should be all Castilian, but you know. <laughs> right? That's funny. Okay. Un vaso de agua. Un vaso de agua. One glass of water. Una taza de café, por favor. Una taza de café, por favor. What was with Una her voice there? Una taza de café, por favor. <laughs> por favor. <laughs> she, she was like, she was like gargling at the end there. Casa. Una taza de café, por favor. Ah, what did I say? Casa. I don't even know what I... Casa. 
Oh, I put casa. See, I'm not even listening Una very well. Taza de café <laughs> por taza. Taza. Casa. Taza. Taza. Damn you, Duolingo. Testing my listening skills. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Politio. Hola, hola. Como esta usted, Cozy? Or Kazi. No sé. <laughs> All right. Let's legendary this one. One thing they recently did do is they made hearts apply to when you're doing challenges. I think maybe maybe that was always a thing, but <laughs> complete your next three out of five lessons, finish a level, or finish the unit as quests. Oh yeah, I don't know how many different uh, how many different um, ones. I just don't know how, co how old Cozy is. Usually, I I try to default to his stead until somebody tells me otherwise, but. To be fair, Kazi has been around a couple times, so I mostly try to do it for people that I don't if I don't know them or if I think they might be older than me. But I but you are right. One hundred percent. I just I try to be I try to, you know, be respectful and stuff. Mi reservacion. I mean, I think you're right too though. Like I am unnecessarily formal sometimes. <laughs> Mi reservacion. Ah, sí, on. Sí. ¿Dónde está la maleta? Está en el hotel. La, el. Sí. Un taxi, por favor. Un taxi, por favor. <coughs> Un museo. Un museo. Museo. Un museo. Yo necesito agua. Uh, tu autobús está aquí. Tu auto autobús está aquí. Mi dinero. Mi dinero. Estoy fermo, pero. Fermo, pero. Are you sick? Is that what you're saying? I uh, know. Wait, fermo. No sé. No sé. Ah, uh, Spanish to English. No, I don't want to look up porn. Okay. I'm sick, but oh, okay. Estoy fermo. Sí. Fermo. Sí, sí. Well, that's awesome that I was able to figure that out. That's awesome. <laughs> Spanish skills getting better. Let's go. Mi teléfono. Mi teléfono. ¿A dónde está la leche? Está en el supermercado. Sí. La. Gracias, Olo. Gracias. El. <clears throat> hospital está aquí. Thank you, Orlo. I, I uh, hopefully will continue to practice more. I need to practice more still. El hospital está aquí. Nada no sabo. Okay. I have definitely said sabo by accident one or two times in my Spanish class, and my uh, my Spanish teacher just laughed. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It's it's definitely like baby Spanish moments, you know. <laughs> ¿Dónde está el banco? Está en el, está el, ah, ay. ¿Dónde está el banco? Está en la calle. El la. En la calle. Yo tengo una maleta. <laughs> so far in language, uh, with the biggest on my profile, Japanese, nice. Questions have gotten even more difficult. Where there are now multiple choice questions, all in Japanese. <laughs> That's cool though. That's cool though. How do you think you're doing on it? Do you think it's uh? Do you think it's pretty hard for you? Or do you think you're you're able to manage it? Como está la hablando? Uh, la hablando? Um, mi mi habilidad de habla uh, uh, hablar uh, hablar <laughs> hablar uh, Eh, más o menos, más o menos, uh, yo quiero uh, practicar más, uh, uh, más, uh, 
Habla, hab, I don't even know how to say it. I need to practice more speaking. I guess hablando. Yo necesito practicar más hablando. Yo tengo una maleta. Yo tengo una maleta. I have a suitcase. Yes, sí. Uh, el baño está aquí. El baño. Oh, here's a question I have for Spanish speakers. Do do women sometimes call el baño la baña? Necesito practicar más con, con, conversación. Ah, sí, sí. Está más, más buena. Más bien. Do, do, do women sometimes call el baño la baña? Like, to mean the women's bath bathroom? Always el baño? Okay, okay. Hmm. Tienes un amigo. Uh, Tienes un amigo? Necesito más amigas. Amigos, sí. <laughs> y amigas. Uh, somewhat manageable. One time in German class, I got a question in language about their mascot duo. Okay, so. I see. Interesting. Yeah, it's definitely interesting when they throw in things that you don't expect. Uh, o a to tocador, I guess, for women. Oh, okay. Tocador. I guess I've heard la baña before, and I guess I was just confused at what, what it was. El tocador. Interesting. En el tren. En el tren. They'll just say baño. Okay. That's kind of what I thought, but I I was a little bit confused. Like maybe it was la bañera is a bathtub. Oh, okay, right. Yeah, there is bañera. I did forget about bañera. Um, hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's what you're thinking. Yeah, I might have heard it wrong. El aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. El aeropuerto. Un boleto a Madrid. Un boleto a Madrid. Madrid. <laughs> El banco es cerrado. El banco es está cer es, está cerrado, sí. Está cerrado. Está cerrado. El banco está cerrado. Um I guess here so cerrado. I've also learned that like uh there's also like Sierra Sierra, but that's like nosot uh ellos o ustedes, right? That's like ustedes Sierra, are you closed? El cuarto de baño. <laughs> sí. <laughs> sí. <laughs> okay. So where are we at? Unit five, right? Say where people are from. China. China. China, España, los Estados Unidos. España. España. Sí. España. Están cerrados. As in a question, están cerrados. Okay. Is it closed? Okay. Está cerrado. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I'm trying to remember where I learned Sierran, because I was, or at least like what context I learned Sierran from. Because I think you can also use Sierran for closed, but maybe in me like llamo Juan. maybe as like an adjective. Me llamo Juan. Me llamo Juan. My name is Juan. They're closing. Oh, okay. Ejo Sierran. Closing. So that's like closing. Got you. Okay. For like ellos o ustedes, sí. Cerrando. Están cerrando. Okay. That makes sense. Los Estados Los Unidos, está sí. Eres de China. Eres de China. Are you from China? Eres de China. Are you from China? Una tienda de ropa. Una tienda de ropa. A clothes store. A clothes store? A clothing store? Se cerrado would be closed minded also. Ah, oh, okay. Interesting. I didn't know that. Okay. Se cerrado. Hmm. Okay. Interesante. Hola, me llamo David. Uh, me llamo David. Yo, uh, 
Yo soy de Estados Unidos y hablo soy inglés. Inglés. Sí. ¿Eres de España? ¿Eres de España? Are you from Spain? ¿Eres de España? Person is an introvert. Hmm, okay. So would you say... So I guess with closed-minded in English, the way I think of closed-minded would be more like they... The person is not really willing to accept new ideas or like they are very uh yeah so like introverted being introverted to me would more like be like you don't really you don't really like interacting with people much or you just don't feel very comfortable with it and i guess i would <coughs> i would say being closed-minded isn't necessarily like you're introverted um at least in English. I could see that I could see it being sort of different in Spanish maybe, but um but that is either way, that's that's interesting stuff to know. Outgoing. Yeah, yeah, like if if you're not if you're not outgoing, then I would say you are in, an introvert. Um introvert in Spanish. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what I thought. Um yeah, I was I was mostly thinking as far as English goes, yeah. Um they're two different things, yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah, I figured they were probably different, but either way. Either way. Hola, Ana. ¿Eres de China? Hola, Ana. ¿Eres de China? No, yo soy de España. Ella es de México. ¿Eres de México? Is he from Mexico? Is he from Mexico? ¿Eres de México? Hola, me llamo Juan. Hola, me llamo Juan. Hola, me llamo Juan. Hola, Juan. Soy Ana. ¿Eres de España? Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy de Estados Unidos. I am from the United American States. <laughs> I'm from the United American States. Él es americano. Él es, americ él es americano. Él es americano. Americano. Él es americano. He is American. Americano. americano. Bruno americano. es americano. Bruno, words. Bruno es americano. Bruno is American. Bruno es americano. Americano. Ana es americana. Ana es americana. Ana is American. Ella es americana. Ella es americana. La niña es americana. Sí. Let's go. Getting some more gems up in this. Ah, el estudiante. El estu ¿Ella es estudiante? ¿Él es estudiante? ¿Es he a student? ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? ¿Y tú? ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? ¿Dónde eres? ¿Dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Yo soy de China. <laughs> ¿Y tú de dónde eres? Yo soy de China. ¿Y tú de dónde eres? De Estados Unidos, de California. Mi nombre. Mi nombre. My name. Nombre. Nombre. Sí. Mi nombre es Carmen. ¿Qué? Mi nombre es Carmen. Carmen. Mi nombre es Carmen. Mi nombre es Marco. Mi nombre es Marco. My name is Marco. Mi nombre es John. John. Mi nombre es John. Mi nombre es John. Yo soy Marco. ¿De dónde eres, John? Yo vivo en Boston. Yo vivo en Boston. I... Boston. Yo vivo en Boston. Bo Boston. Boston. <laughs> How can I say this without sounding like an American? Me gustaría aprender el español de Chile. 
Ah, sí. Sí. Uh, no, uh, yo no sé uh, mucho. Um, siempre. Um, siempre. No, no, siempre. Um, I was trying to think. What's the word for about? About. About. I said, I don't know much about. No sé mucho sobre. Sobre. That's what I was thinking. Sobre. No sé mucho sobre uh, español de Chile, pero es. Uh, uh, yo puedo uh, ver, yo puedo ver uh, es es uh, es pueda es pueda ser interesante <laughs> yo vivo en Boston I live in Boston Daniel es de Estados Unidos y él es Daniel es de Estados Unidos y él es uh, estudiante, estudiante en China. Ah, sí. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. I live in the United American States. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Yo soy estudiante de español y vivo en España. Español. Yo vivo sí. en California. Yo vivo en California. Yo vivo en California. Marque, Marque, Marco, ¿de dónde eres? Marco, uh, ¿de dónde, 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 dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? Uh, ¿De dónde uh, es, de dónde es usted? I think that's, I think you can say that too, right? O oh, oh, de dónde usted es? De donde ustedes? I think you could maybe say that. I don't know. It can also be about right, right? Like you can like clase de español, sí. Como clase de español. Uh, de donde eres, Juan? De donde eres, Juan? Oh, uh, here I'm gonna try this with uh with uh usted. So de donde usted es, Juan? I don't know if that's correct. Can you do that though? Can you do that? No sé. De donde eres Juan? De donde eres Juan? How would you use it? Como usar, como usar usted en, uh, en de donde? <laughs> Con de donde? Okay. Yeah, prepositions can be confusing for sure. They're definitely one of those like slight, those like higher up kind of, little bit higher up next step kind of level Spanish, or or just in any language really. Mexico. 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 Él es de Mexico. Él es de Mexico. Is he from Mexico? Soy de Cuba. Soy de Cuba. I. Am I Mexico? I am from Cuba. Ella es de Cuba. Ella es de Cuba. Ella es de Cuba. Chilean Spanish, you love it. Yeah, Chilean Spanish. I like. I've definitely met some Chilean people that are super cool, and I I like the accent. I don't know much about it though. Other otherwise. Él es cubano. Él es cubano. He is Cuban. They just speak fast. Oh, okay. I see. I see. Yo veo. Yo veo. Interesante. Interesante. Me llamo Mar Marcelo. Me llamo Marcelo y soy cubano. Soy Marcelo. Marcelo. Yo soy cubana. Yo soy cubana. I am Cuban. Ella es de México. Ella es de México. No es cubana. Él es mexicano. Él es mexicano. Uh, he's Mexican. He's Mexican. Un regalo. Un regalo. A gift. 
un regalo, un regalo mexicano. Me sí. ¿Eres mexicana? ¿Eres mexicana? Are you Mexican? Fernanda es mexicana. Mexica. Sí. That's a beautiful Mexican flag. Wow. <laughs> that's that's a flag that is certainly Mexican. Totally. <laughs> I just I kind of like that. That's just as sim as simple as they could possibly make it. <laughs> totally Mexican. <laughs> Along with Puerto Rican Spanish. I need to learn more about Puerto Rican Spanish. Maria is Mexicana. Okay. Maria is Mexicana. Okay. Maria is Mexicana. Maria is Mexicana. Maria is Mexicana. Some of these people s sound weird. Maria is Mexicana. Caribbean Spanish is on a different level. I bet. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> Yeah, it must be interesting uh, learning, uh, like, Cuban Spanish and stuff, too. That's the thing, I, like, yeah, like you were saying earlier, it's it's crazy how different Spanish can be from one place to another. It's it's really interesting. Él es interesante. Él es interesante. He is interesting. Cuba es interesante. Cuba es interesante. Cuba is interesting. Uh... Tu es, American, tu es mexicana? Eres mexicano? No. Wait. Uh, am I stupid? Um, soy eres. Si, sí, eres. I was, I was just like, wait. Eres, right? <laughs> eres mexicano? Mexicano? Si. Sí. For some reason, I was just like, wait. Eres. Uh... For some reason, I was like thinking, Eres is from, except it's not. <laughs> except it's totally not. It's okay. Um, usted es interesante. Usted es interesante. Let's see. So I feel like you could use when I said de donde ustedes. Like, that. that isn't wrong, is it? Or would, I don't know. Could you say that? Is de donde usted is correct? Nah, it's not wrong. Oh, okay. It marked me wrong, damn it. <laughs> Argentina, Argentina, and Paraguay Spanish are definitely more similar. I could see that. I could see that. All Spanish speakers, but one's from Mexico, another's from Dominican Republic, and another from Argentina. Speak all completely different. That's funny, though. That's really interesting. Yeah, it would be really awesome to learn more about um, Spanish from these different countries. I need to... I just need to take in more Spanish media. Yo, dude, fucking just splatted. <laughs> they just splat Duolingo against the... <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> what? <laughs> they just they just launched Duolingo at a wall at like seventy miles an hour. <laughs> right, he's fucking dead. <laughs> they killed Duo. <laughs> oh no. Are they don't they this one? They don't. Don't, don't, donde eres, Juan? You can, you can understand them. That's, that's interesting. Okay. Me llamo Julia. Me llamo Julia. My name is Julia. Or Julia. Me llamo Daniel. Soy mexicano. Ya, soy. Tú eres de Estados Unidos? Tú eres de Estados, Estados Unidos? Tú eres de Estados Unidos. Tú eres de Estados Unidos. Tú eres de Estados Unidos. Struggled with the Dominican at the beginning. I could see that being quite different. Yeah. I could definitely see that being quite
quite a little bit different. Hola, yo me llamo. Hola, yo me llamo David. Yo soy de Estados Unidos y yo hablo uh, in inglés. Soy. Sí. Uh, de Estados Unidos. Yo soy de Estados Unidos y hablo inglés. inglés. Sí. Estados Unidos, maybe. I could may, maybe. Tú eres I think de España. I've I think I've seen it as one of the translations that you can use. Tú eres de España. Tú eres de España. Tú eres es España. De España. Tú eres de España. Oh fuck you! That she did not say de. Tú eres de España. Tú eres de España. Fuck you. No, she didn't say day. Fuck you. Fuck you, Duolingo. Ella es de Mexico. <laughs> You're full of shit. <laughs> Ella es de Mexico. Ella es de Mexico. Ella es de Mexico. See, he's saying day. Well, so how do you say Spanish? Espan. So how do you say your Spanish? So Espan. I did say, are you Spain? But how, how do you say, how do you say Spanish like, um, Espanol? Eres Espanol, España, España, Española? Ah, Española. Ah, si, sí, si. Sí. That makes sense. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Mexico. Española. She's, she totally didn't say day though. I typed exactly what she said to me. <laughs> Ella es de México. <laughs> Ella, Ella es de México. See, I didn't. I totally didn't say that. She totally did. <laughs> Ella es de México. José es de México. José es de México. Uh, José. José es de México. Tú eras de España. <laughs> Yeah, just hit me with the chancla every time I get that wrong. <laughs> Tú eras de España? See, she like totally doesn't say that. I don't know. Tú eres de España? Tú eras de España? I can like barely hear. It's like it's like just barely there. Tú eras de España? Like I can barely hear the de España. Like just barely. Tú eras de España? Tú eras de España. Tú eres de España. Tú eras de España. That's kind of what I'm hearing. But it's like the most incredibly subtle the sound. <laughs> God damn it. Introducing the Duo Link. Okay. Just throw chanclas at me. <laughs> ¿Qué necesita? ¿Qué necesita? Oscar está en una tienda de ropa. Oh, Oscar. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to remember how to say it now. Um, Oscar. Uh, uh, what, what, what am I trying to think of? Um, Oscar necesita haciendo. <laughs> See, I, I forget how to say he needs to to go or to use the bathroom, because that's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> Oscar. Oscar necesita usar el baño, sí. Oscar está en una tienda de ropa. Él ve a Sari, su estudiante. Ella trabaja en la tienda. Él ve a Sari, su estudiante. Oh, his student, okay. Él ve a Sari, su estudiante. Ella trabaja en la tienda. Ella trabaja en la tienda. Oscar sees Sari working in a store. Yes. Sari. Estoy feliz de verte. Sorry, estoy feliz de verte. So I guess to see you. Happy to see you. Ah, I'm gonna write that down. Feliz de verte, because I've I've like wondered how to say that, but I I didn't really look it up ever. Um, pen. Do I have a pen? De donde es mi bo? Uh, es mi uh, bolígrafo. <laughs> I found it. Okay. Uh. Estoy feliz de verte, de verte. Estoy feliz de verte. Estoy feliz de verte. 
I am happy to see you. I am happy to see you. I'm using more like flashcards and stuff. So I'm just writing down things that I am like, I'm like, okay, well, I can probably remember that, but it's going to be much better and easier for me to remember if I practice it more. Certain phrases. So anyway. Sorry, estoy feliz de verte. Buenos días. Buenos días. Necesita ayuda. Necesita ayuda. Sorry asks Oscar if he needs help. Sí, gracias. Necesito. Sí, gracias. Necesito. Ah, yo sé. Usted necesita una chaqueta nueva. Ah, yo sé. Usted necesita una chaqueta nueva. To no. Sari toma una chaqueta. Sari toma una chaqueta. Sari uh, takes a jacket. Or break, break, toma. Toma, t -t takes No, it. Sari. Yo no necesito una chaqueta. No, Sari. Yo no necesito una chaqueta. Ah, necesita una camisa nueva. Ah, necesita una camisa nueva. Sari thinks Oscar needs a new shirt. La verde es perfecta. La verde es perfecta. No, Sari. Por favor. No, Sari. No, Sari. Por favor. No necesito una camisa. No necesito He's una He's going to say bathroom. <laughs> Yo necesito... I've never listened to this story before, but I know. I just know in my heart. <laughs> Yo, uh... What's the word? What? Why? Why am I forgetting the word now? Um, why am I forgetting how to say words? Um, God damn it! To know in Spanish, I literally should know this. Saber, sí. Uh, uh, fuck! Why am I forgetting this entirely? I'm I'm having to review saber now. Say. What what was I even thinking of now? Uh, yo sé, uh, yo sé cómo él uh, va a. Uh, uh, how do you say say? I know what he's going to say. To to say, I guess just habla. To say. Decir. Ah, uh, sí, 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 sí. De. See, I, but now how do you conjugate that? Have I done Italian yet? I have not. No. Decir conjugation. It's been a freaking second since I've used a lot of these. Digo, yo digo, tú dices. Okay. Then what was I using that for? To know. So. No, that's that's not bad. So I'm trying to. <laughs> I'm just trying to say a, a sentence, and I'm trying to think of how I'm going to say it. So, yo. Uh, yo sab, yo sé, uh, yo sé cómo él uh, va a des, va a si, decir. Oh, okay, I don't, I don't even need to conjugate it. Va a decir. <laughs> yo sé, yo sé cómo. Do I think it's similar? It's I've I as far as I um understand Italian is similar in a lot of ways. <laughs> Um, I forget it. I forget if there's like Italian influence in s on on Spain or the other way around, but I believe there is some relation uh, in the languages. So, so what I'm trying to I'm trying to say I know what he's going to say. So, yo sé cómo yo sé cómo él va a decir. Sí, yo, sí. I think that's what I was trying to say. Un sombrero. Necesita un sombrero. <laughs> un sombrero. Necesita un sombrero. No. No, no necesito no ropa. No necesito ropa. Yo necesito saber. Yo ne necesito saber. ¿Dónde está el baño? ¿Dónde está el baño? I knew it. <laughs> Yo, uh... What, what was it? Uh, to know, see, but saber. But in past tense now. Sa no, not sabré. Preterit? What is it? Future, pre present. Perfect. Supe? Yo supe es? I knew. 
Je soupe. I've never used the word soupe. Okay. Soupe. Je soupe. I don't know if that's that's totally the right way to say it, but soupe. Uh, I. Oh right, right. Yeah, le la right. Hmm. So what would, would it be like le jo wait le jo soupe right I do remember I need to make sure to do that more that's a good reminder thank you so like jo le soupe I guess more like yo jo le soupe is how you'd say that instead of like le jo soupe jo le soupe maybe I don't know. <laughs> Why did Oscar go into the clothing clothing store? He needed to find a breastroom. Baño perfecta, sombrero, se feliz. Yo le supe. Yo le supe. I don't know if that's how you say that or not. Yo le supe. Let's see. Let's try and Google Translate it. <laughs> translate. Can I type this and have it come out that way? Je le soupe. I knew him. Okay, but that's that's still kind of the same, right? Je la soupe. Uh, le soupe? Okay. Le soupe. Je le soupe. Okay. Or you could just say le soupe, right? Okay. I appreciate you letting me know that genuinely. It uh it helps me it definitely helps me think more about it. Thank you. Okay. Falda. Falda. Ropa. Ropa. Tienda. Tienda. Americano. Y America Americano. Hola es uh, es y lats. Hola es y lats. ¿Cómo está usted? Bienvenido, bienvenida. Conjugate yo, tu, etc. is in the verb. Right, yeah. It is already in the verb, so I don't need to say yo or tu. That makes sense. Le supe. Okay. Hola, me llamo Ana. Mucho gusto. Soy de Estados Unidos. Call you Ace or AC? Okay, will do. Will do. Hola, me llamo Ana. Mucho gusto. Soy de Estados Unidos. Ana es de Estados Unidos. She, she just Ana said es it. Americana. <laughs> Ana es Americana. Ana is American. España. España. Abrigo. Abrigo. Comprar. Comprar. Rojo. Y rojo. Sí. Sí, sí. El hombre es de China. El hombre es de China. China. Él es americano. The man is from China. Él es americano. He is American. Él es americano. Me llamo Julia. Me llamo Julia. My name is Julia. Ella es americana. Ella es americana. Ella es americana. Is she American? Hola, me llamo Li Wei. Hola, me llamo Li Wei. Yo soy de China y mi esposa... Es de Estados Unidos. Sí. Él es americano. Él es americano. Él... Él... <laughs> Él es americano. Typing. Uh, la niña es americana. La niña es americana. Bruno es de España. Bruno es de España. Buenos días. Él es Min, es de China. Y yo soy Marco, de España. Buenos días. Él es Min, es de China. Y yo soy Marco, de España. Marco es de España. Sí. Sara es americana. Sara es americana. Sarah is American. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy de Estados Unidos. Dos. De. You do German and Mandarin. Nice, nice. That's cool. 
Um, so far, I've just been working on mostly Spanish and Ukrainian on Duolingo, but I've messed around with a little bit of Latin and a little bit of Japanese and a little bit of Welsh. And like I've learned a little bit of phrases here and there from other languages besides those, but yeah. Sara es de los Estados Unidos, sí. Sara es de los Estados Unidos. <coughs> Me llamo es José. Me llamo José. Me llamo, si, si, no, no me llamo es, me llamo, solamente me llamo, me llamo José. Mi nombre es José, no, pero no me llamo es, sí. Me llamo es, es, no es, no es bueno. <laughs> Damn, I wish I could read Chinese. Chinese is so... Mandarin Chinese is so daunting. <laughs> it's cool, though. Tu madre. I'm just going to leave it at that. Tu madre. <laughs> tu madre Estados. es de Estados Unidos. Y tu padre, de, de, uh, ¿de dónde es? Rojo. Rojo. Sombrero. Sombrero. España. España. Nombre. Nombre. Hola, Ana. Mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Julia y soy de España. ¿Y tú? ¿De dónde eres? Hola, Ana. Mucho gusto. Mi nombre es Julia y soy de España. ¿Y tú? ¿De dónde eres? Julia es de España, sí. There's zero, that's zero, and then there's this one. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh man. <laughs> that's that's good. Chaqueta. That's really funny. Chaqueta. Camisa. Camisa. Gris. Gris. Donde. Y donde. Yo vivo en Boston. Yo vivo en Boston. I live in Boston. <laughs> Él es un estudiante de España. Tú eres un estudiante? Es, eres. ¿De dónde eres? ¿De dónde eres? De donde eres? Where are you from? Yo vivo en Virginia. Yo vivo en México. Yo vivo en México. Bebo. Vivo. <clears throat> but you could also say yo bebo en México, right? <laughs> I drink lots. Yo bebo mucho en Mexican. Mexico. <laughs> sí. Mucho gusto, Ann. 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 Mucho gusto, Ann. Yo soy de Sp Estados Unidos. Vivo en China y me llamo Marie. Yo soy de Estados Unidos. Vivo en China y me llamo Marie. Bruno es estudiante. Bruno es estudiante. Bruno es estudiante. Él y ella. Él y ella. He and she. Mi nombre es Marco. Mi nombre es Marco. My name is Marco. Hola. Mi nombre es Yoni. Soy un estudiante de Madrid. Yo vivo con Sara. Ella es de Santiago, Chile. Hola. Mi nombre es John y soy de... Soy... <laughs> Words. Hola, mi nombre es John y soy un estudiante de Madrid. Yo vivo con Sara. Ella es de Santiago, Chile. ¿De dónde es Sara? De Chile. Sí. Said that means it's zero. We double check and it's right. <laughs> yeah, this is Spanish. That's really funny. <laughs> It's zero, but we have to make sure it's zero because it's like, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> mi nombre. Mi nombre. Uh, él es estudiante. Él es estudiante. Oh, I put estudiante. <laughs> él es estudiante. Uh, en California. En California. 
You're almost doing Spanish. That's cool. That's cool. That's awesome that she's learning Spanish. Also, not your IRL one. That's okay. Family is family. Camiseta. Camiseta. Cubano. Cubano. Este. Este. Y. Y. Me llamo Juan y soy cubano. Ella That's es like mi, mi grandma and grandpa, kind of, right? I'm, I'm like, I don't use the word oma and opa much, but I think that's what they mean. <laughs> Me llamo Juan y soy cubano. Ella es Mari, mi esposa es mexicana. Ella es Mari, mi esposa es mexicana. Yeah, people don't use oma and opa much in English here in the United States at least but I've I've heard it used before me llamo Juan y soy de cubano ella es Mari mi esposa es me mexicana de donde es Mari de Mexico since they're old I could see that I could see that tornas uh, bienvenido bienvenida como esta usted didn't know if there were even options in English I don't know if they technically are I think that I have heard people say it, and I believe it's mostly, like, if they use it in English, it's probably borrowed from, like, their family. So they, like, they probably speak English, but maybe their relatives don't because they speak German. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I think that, like, I don't think people would be completely confused if you use the word Oma or Opa. In English here, it's just that people might like people might be a little confused because yeah, exactly. Like Orlo said, it's probably more like their parents or their family are from somewhere that uses it, and so they just use it like you know by default. Like for me, for me, for instance, a lot of people or or like um, I should preface this: a lot of people say "papa" for like father or just call their father "pops" or whatever or "pop papa." But I personally called my grandfather uh, Papa. So that was like, I think it just really depends on where you're at. So, like not a lot of people do call their grandparents Papa or, you know, what stuff like that. So they're also not my real family. I could see that. Okay. So that's another reason to use it. See, and that makes sense. That makes sense. I think I, I could see a lot of different reasons for that. Alberto es de México y Camila es de Cuba. Él es mexicano y él, ella es cubana. Él, ella. No, 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 no. Sí, sí. No, no. Yeah. It's very interesting. Papá, pa, pops, dad, daddy, father, papa, old man, popsy, pa. Yeah, all sorts of shit. <laughs> Old man. Gris. Gris. Vestido. Vestido. Mexicano. Mexicano. Demasiado. Y demasiado. Demasiado. Old fart. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Ella es cubana y él es cubano. Cuba, cubano. Family is from Argentina and there's a lot of Italian heritage there. Yeah, it seems like Argentina has a lot of heritage from like all over Europe. Which is very interesting. Mi abuela es de México, mi padre es cubano y mi madre es de China. Mi familia es interesante. Sí. Yo soy mexicano. Yo soy mexicano. I am Mexican. Yo, te, uh, yo vivo en Cuba con mi hermana. I live in Cuba with my sister. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, Dios mío. Uh, you have three moms, one one Oma, one Opa, and one Gramps. That's interesting. That's cool. Eres de Cuba? Eres de Cuba? Are you from Cuba? Eres de Cuba? Are you from Cuba? Él es interesante. Él es interesante. 
Él es interesante. Uh, puedo, puedan, uh, puedan ustedes, uh, uh, what's the word for here? Uh, fuck. To hear in Spanish. Escuchar. Uh, están, uh, puedan ustedes uh, escuchar. Escuchan a uh, mi perro, <laughs> sí. Él es, uh, let's see, how do you say mad? Mad. Enjoado. Furioso. <laughs> call your gram grandma just abuela, but you call your great grandma ma ma ma. Huh. That's really interesting, huh? I've never heard that before. That's really cool. <laughs> no, I have a complicated online family. Don't ask how it works. It's okay. I mean, I think uh, I think it's really awesome when people are able to make connections like that uh, through the internet. Mexico is interesante. I call my great grandma her name. My great, all of my great grandparents were pretty. Like I've only met one of my great grandparents, and she died pretty soon after I was uh, a kid. So I, I didn't really get to know any of my great grandparents really. Grandma and grandma and then her name. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's that's it, awesome though. I think that's really awesome that um that you have a good family like that. Mexico es interesante. Mexico is interesting. Es interesante. Eres yeah. mexicana. Eres mexicana? Are you Mexican? Él es de Cuba. Él es de Cuba? El es de Cuba. Y es from Cuba. Cuba. El es de Cuba. Ella sí. es cubana. Ella es cubana. Is she Cuban? Is she am? <laughs> Thank you for the follow, by the way, AC. I appreciate that. Gracias por la para. I think they. I think somebody said para last time. Para la para el follow. Gracias. Spanish, and I do a little Norwegian, German, Swedish. I'm Irish. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you were telling me before that you're Irish. That's super cool, though. I mean, Spanish is an awesome language to learn, and uh, especially if you're an English speaker. Norwegian's really interesting. German, Swedish. Swedish is cool. I need to learn more German. I learned a little bit of German in high school, but there wa there wasn't really... It wasn't a very hard course or anything, and I've forgotten pretty much everything. Not... Not Jülich. Natürlich. Ella es de México. Ella es de México. De. Sí. Ella es de México. Pedro es mexicano. Pedro es mexicano. Oh, wait, actually. Mexicano. Eres de México. México. Oh, I guess eres mexicano is probably better. Mexicano. Mexicano. Natürlich. Me llamo Isabel y soy de Madrid. ¿Y tú eres de España? Hallo, neue deutsche Freundin. <laughs> I need to... I, I really should get back to German. That actually sounds like a good idea. <laughs> No, Cozy just speaks Spanish very well. Cozy speaks Spanish pretty well, it seems. Have I been listening to any other songs in Spanish? A couple. I'll I'll play a couple in a second here when we switch over to Latin. Tú eres de España? Tú eres de España? Ah, sí, sí. <laughs> sí, sí. She did it again. Tú eres de España? España? I know your tricks, lady. José es de México. José es de México? Jose is de Mexico. Ah, sí. Jose is de Mexico. Spanish is super cool. Got another Amelia banger for you. Ah, shit. Orlo. If you put it in chat, um, the bot will censor it, but I will be able to see the link. So if you do post it, don't worry about that. <clears throat> I think if you just post like a billion links in a row, then it might like temporarily ban like uh 
whatever it's called temporarily banning somebody silencing them whatever vale yeah if you want to i'd be happy to listen to it here ella in a second ella es de mexico ella es de mexico ella es de mexico ay Oh, yeah, you can also just say the name. That probably is going to be easier. Tú eres de Estados Unidos. Tú eres de Estados Unidos. No se ve. But you know who already? No se ve. Do I know who already? No se ve. No se ve. Okay. Maybe my brain is is slow right now. So also Portugues. Ah, sí, sí. That's awesome. By Amelia. Ah, sí, sí. No se ve by Amelia. Ah, sí. <laughs> I wasn't sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not seen. No se ve. Okay. No se ve. Interesting. Okay. I'm sorry, Orlo. I've disappointed and have disappointed you. <laughs> I'm sorry to let you down. <laughs> a que parte? A uh, me muerde a España el año viene. A uh, viene, viene, a uh, viene. Me muder a uh, España el año viene. So you're are you saying you're going to move to to uh, Spain? Que viene, ah, sí, sí, sí. Que viene, the next, the next year. Me mudo a España el año que viene. Sí, sí. No sé. No sé de parte. No sé qué parte. Está bien, está bien. Que bien, que bien. Uh, de, don, uh, de dónde es el hombre? Uh, de dónde... Es el, el hombre. Oh, I forget. How do you say south? South in Spanish. South. Sur. En el sur. Sí. En el sur. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write down all these cardinal directions. Sur. Sur. South. Then let's see. South, east, este, si sí, este, este, el este. Oh fuck. El este. V east. Start at Alicante, then travel around. Ah, okay. That sounds cool. Well, good luck. I hope that works out for you. El este y el el oeste. El oeste, the west is el oeste. Could you just say west? To the west, oeste, sí, sí. And then north, norte, el norte, el norte, mi perro. Um, the north. Okay, just making sure I will memorize those at some point. Okay. Oh, I also didn't write down soupe. Le soupe. Le soupe. I knew it. Le soupe. I knew it. Okay. I'm just making sure to keep um, flashcards for certain phrases that I want to review later. Okay. Gracias para la ayuda, la ayuda, uh, por lo y cosi. Gracias, gracias. Marco, de dónde eres? Marco, de dónde eres? Uh, de dónde eres, Pedro? De donde es 
Pedro. Muy bien. Qué bien. Perfecto. Ok. I keep forgetting the word for story. I'm going to write that down too. Story. Historia y cuento. Cuento. I'm going to use cuento. Uh, el cuento. The story. The story. El cuento. Okay. Un más cuento. Un café, por favor. Un café, por favor. Eddie está en un restaurante con su hijo, Junior. Eddie está en el restaurante con su hijo, Junior. Un cuento más. Sí, sí. Un cuento más. Gracias, gracias. Un cuento más. Más. Uh, más en la... Uh, en, fuck, how do you say end? At the end. <laughs> At the end. Al final. Al final de... Uh, sentence. <laughs> sentence. Oración. Ah, I forgot the word oración. Oración. La termina de la oración. Más cuento is translating it direct. Right, right, right. So, un, un cuento más es correcto. Oración, ora, en la termina de la oración. Oración. Sentence. Gracias. Cuéntanos historia. Oración can be both sentence and a prayer. Ah, interesting. I didn't know that, huh? Hmm. What a prayer. That's cool. Un ah uh, cuéntanos un historia. Okay. <laughs> Uh, es, uh, cuéntanos están historias. Okay. <laughs> Eddie está en un restaurante con su hijo Junior. Una historia. Una historia, sí. Hola Eddie, ¿quieres un café? Hola Eddie, ¿quieres un café? Woman ask Eddie if he wants a coffee. Yes. Sí, una taza grande de café, por favor. Sí, una taza grande de café, por favor. ¿Con o sin leche? Con o sin leche. Con leche, por favor. Con leche, por favor. ¿Y con o sin azúcar? Y con o sin... Oh, fuck. Y con o sin azúcar. Con azúcar, por favor. Con azúcar, por Yo favor. Yo también quiero una taza de café. Yo también quiero una taza de café. De café. Words. Yo también quiero... Yo también quiero una taza de café. Junior, ¿tú quieres café? Junior, ¿tú, ¿tú quieres café? Sí, quiero una taza con leche. Sí, quiero una taza con y leche. Y con azúcar. Y con azúcar. Y con helado. Un, y con helado. <laughs> And with ice cream. That kid knows how to eat con coffee. Con helado. <laughs> con helado. Sí, y sin café, por favor. Y sin café, por favor. <laughs> ah, ¿tú quieres un batido? Ah, ¿tú quieres un batido? You want a milkshake? Por favor. Sí, por favor. Yo también quiero un batido. <laughs> Yo también quiero un batido. Uh, this es es uh, este es mi favorita historia. Mi historia favorita. Es este es mi historia favorita. Dos batidos, por favor. Dos batidos, por favor. Oh, it's okay. Or I mean that that's the thing. It's it's hard to Hard to get perfect at that stuff. Oh, Junior, he ordered a he ordered coffee, but he really wanted a milkshake. Sin leche, helado, azúcar, y batido. I forget. You can also say helado and be like helado. It's freezing out there, right? 
like if you're saying it's really really freaking cold outside I think so. I think so. Gray, okay. Let's see. Gray, okay. Liquado. Liquado. Ah, see. Sí. Liquado. I didn't know that. Liquado. Liquado. I'm going to write that down. Liquado. Milkshake. Batido. Batido. Even though I'm native in English. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Yeah, I feel like the more I learn other languages, the more I forget certain English things or I just make English mistakes. It's kind of funny. Sometimes that's the case, but not always. Anyway, we have 100 gems. Let's legendary this. Hola. Uno, dos, tres. Uno, dos, tres. Make it harder. Yeah. Uno, dos, tres. Dos personas, un restaurante. restaurante. Dos personas y un restaurante. Una mesa para tres personas. Una mesa para tres personas. Una taza de café, por favor. Un vaso de agua, por favor. Taza. Vaso. Un café con azúcar. Un café con azúcar. Yo necesito pagar. Yo necesito pagar. I need to pay. Para el niño, un sándwich de pescado. Gracias. Para, para, para el ella, niño... Una hamburguesa. I, fuck. What? Para el niño, un sándwich de pescado. Gracias. Para ella, una hamburguesa. Para el niño, un sándwich de pescado y para ella, un hamburguesa. El niño come un sándwich. Sí. Para dos personas. Para dos personas. Para dos personas, sí. That's what keeps me going. Heck yeah. Un jugo de naranja, por favor. Un jugo de naranja, por favor. Una hamburguesa con queso. Una hamburguesa con queso. Like words, queso. queso. <laughs> Una hamburgue hamburguesa con queso. Sin tomate, por favor. Con carne. Con carne, with meat. Gracias, la ensalada está deliciosa. Quiero pagar la cuenta, por favor. La persona come ensalada. Uh, así como... Uh, what, 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 what's, what's the word I'm trying to think here? Uh, I'm, I'm just going to look it up. <laughs> what did he say? Como y... Dijo? Dijo, right, dijo. Is that how you say that though? Di dejar? I'm gonna look up dihar. Dihar. Wait, is that even is that even the word? Uh, dehar, dehar. Conjugation. Okay. Dehar. Dejo. No, that's to leave. I'm no, that's not the word I'm looking for. No dehar. Um, to say in Spanish. Yes, I'm not trying to look up the word in in Spanish <laughs> to say. Decir. Uh, and then decir, decir, conjugation. I'm going to write down decir because I'm not remembering it enough. Decir, to say. I'm forgetting it too much. Cetra mix you up, yeah. Yeah, I was uh, look. I was trying to look it up on um, Google, and it like it auto corrected me, or not auto corrected, but it like suggested what I was looking for. But that wasn't what I was looking for. So conjugating decir. Yo dije, dijo, dijo. Okay, that is what. Okay. No sé. 
uh, como él dijo como dijo él no sé cómo él dijo that's what I was that's what I was trying to say no sé cómo él dijo gracias la ensalada está deliciosa quiero pagar la cuenta por favor gracias la ensalada está deliciosa um, quiero pa necesito pagar la cuenta gracias la ensalada está deliciosa está quiero deliciosa. pagar la cuenta quiero pagar la cuenta por favor sí sí okay yeah, Spanish dick, dick is a pretty good one. Con o sin leche. Con o sin leche. Con o sin leche. Ay, I forgot the... Eh. Con o sin leche. Uh, el queso. Sin sal, por favor. Un, uh, el bocadillo. Bocadillo. El bocadillo. Sí. All right, we got legendary on that. Let's go. Um, apologies if I'm going a little slow today. Lily's clothes. La ropa de Lily. La ropa de Lily. La ropa de Lily. Sari está en casa de Lily. Ella mira la ropa de Lily. Sari está en la en casa de Lily. Ella mira la ropa de Lily. She's looking at the uh, at Lily's clothes. Tú tienes mucha ropa morada. Ah, I forget what is homework. Um, is uh, I've completely forgotten what homework is. I I used to know this word quite a bit. <laughs> Homework in Spanish. In Spanish. Tarea. Tarea. Sí, sí, la tarea. La tarea. Is that it, though? Can you just say la tarea? Hola, nove, uh, no, 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 Hola, no, no, ¿Cómo está usted? Bienvenido, bienvenida. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? I hope you're well. Tú tienes mucha ropa morada. Ah, no sé morada. Por, ah, morada. Yeah, no, I know. I know morado. I forgot. I just forgot it. Morado. Purple. Tú tienes mucha ropa morada. Y yo, o violeta. El morado es mi color favorito. El morado es mi color, color. El morado es mi color favorito. Purple. Doing well as well. Good. It's good to hear. Necesitas cinco camisas moradas? Necesitas cinco camisas moradas? Sí. You need five purple shirts. Cinco abrigos morados. <laughs> y cinco abrigos morados. Sí, cinco abrigos morados. Y cuatro sombreros morados? Y cuatro sombreros morados? <laughs> sí, necesito mis sombreros. Sí, necesito, necesito mis sombreros. Tengo algo para ti. Tengo algo para ti. I have something else for you. Sari tiene unas gafas de sol rojas. Sari tiene unas gafas de sol rojas. Uh, she has uh, sunglasses, red Son sunglasses. Son para ti. Son de mi tienda favorita. Son para ti. Son de mi tienda favorita. They're from my favorite sh uh, store. Sorry gives Lily a pair of red sunglasses from her favorite store. Eh, gracias. Eh, gracias. El color rojo es perfecto para ti. El color, el color rojo es perfecto para ti. ¿Y la tienda tiene gafas de sol moradas? La, uh, ¿y la tienda, y la tienda tiene gafas de sol moradas? She likes the glasses, but she prefer them in purple. Yeah. Uh, mira, algo, necesitas, abrigos, tienda. Um, I've been practicing those languages on Duolingo so far. Uh, I would say mostly, I'm pretty much mostly just good with, like at least, I wouldn't even say good, just like 
the most experience I have is with um, Spanish and Ukrainian, but I've been learning a little bit of those other ones. Mess around with Duo, but you use Busu and other things like texting as much as I can in Spanish or going to meetups and speaking Spanish. That's why I can do high level Spanish. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I, I think that you're totally right, uh, Kazi. Um, I think that practicing in person and really immersing yourself like that is it's huge i mean it, it really makes a huge difference um in how fast you progress and how and uh, like how much things really get into your head i feel like it's um it's definitely a really good way to like doing all that stuff really immersing yourself helps a lot for sure languages open so many doors you're definitely right i agree it uh it definitely opens a lot of doors to um making new friends and making connections and stuff. Yeah, English is especially very useful. You're you're definitely right about that. <laughs> or low. Um yeah, it's like English is very very um useful in the business world without a doubt. It's the language of aviation. It's the it's just spoken by so many people all over the world it's uh there's there are um you know tourists from english-speaking countries everywhere there are lots of english-speaking people that own businesses or whatever just lots of stuff it's an interpreter for english and spanish so i'm around english and spanish 24 7 and that's awesome dude that's super cool that's definitely a really cool uh a really really great way to learn more uh english and just completely um yeah like i like i definitely think your english is fantastic and you're very very helpful with helping me learn spanish and and you're like i can definitely tell you're very good at being like oh okay no i can see where you're going with this but this isn't right this is the right thing in spanish you know and i think that's i can definitely tell you're a good person to go to as far as like english to spanish or spanish to english and stuff Hola, Ana. ¿Eres de China? Hola, Ana. ¿Eres de China? No, yo soy de España. A lot of Twitch streamers only do it for the dual leaderboards, like one or two sessions, but it should be a part of your life learning. Like one or two lessons. <clears throat> I guess I'm a little confused about what you're saying, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I, I think more people should should definitely just learn more languages in general especially people in the united states it's pretty uncommon like it's i guess i i don't know if i'd say uncommon but it's it's uncommon to find people that speak more than just english learning german nice nice how's that going i hope that's going well uh viele glück viele glück meine i don't i don't know very much german but that purple hair lady from Duo definitely does not want to live anymore. She's on soda. Yeah, she definitely, she definitely has that like depressed, sad, kind of sounding voice. But that's okay. She's still welcome. I I welcome all people. Él es de all, China. <laughs> all feelings. <laughs> Él es de China. Is he from China? Eres de España. Eres de España. Uh, tu madre es ele muy elegante. <laughs> She's just distracted, that's all. No, soy de Estados Unidos. Sí. She's making it a chore. <laughs> She's making it a chore. ¿Eres de China? ¿Eres de China? ¿Eres de China? Bruno es americano. Bruno es americano. Anne es una, una mujer de mujer. Estados Unidos, sí. Bruno es americano. Bruno es americano. Bruno es americano. I just said Juan that. Juan es de España. Juan es de España. España. It's going pretty well, actually. Thanks for asking. I have the advantage that I ne natively speak Norwegian. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Certainly, I could see it helping a lot. Um, a lot of languages use, like, umlauts and all those a lot of those different kind of like mix i don't know just, they're dif different sounding letters for sure like the is and is is and is and is all that stuff is you know like k k 
I don't know. I'm trying to think of even a lot of German words like Uber. You know, Uber is pretty. Uber is pretty common. Él es americano. Fire her from duo, right? Él es americano. Él es americano. Él es americano. He is American. Americano. Ella Typing in English americana. is hard. Okay? Or, or English is hard. <laughs> Ella es americana. She is American. Uh, mi nombre es José. Me llamo José. Mi nombre es José. Glad to hear it's going well, though. It's always very awesome hearing people having, uh, making good progress on Duolingo or any language learning. Hola, yo me llamo, yo me llamo David. Yo soy de Estados Unidos y hablo inglés. So, inglés. España, España. Ana es americana. Ana es americana. Ana is American. Mi nombre es Marco. Oh, oh, me llamo Marco. Hola, M. M. Uh, M. 989090. Hola, ¿cómo está usted? Uh, bienvenido, bienvenida. La niña es americana. Uh, soy de China. I can learn Swedish. I have, uh, I, I definitely can start Swedish at some point. I haven't started Swedish yet though. Um, I messed around with like a tiny bit of Swedish on my, uh, on my other Duolingo account before I started doing this 100% thing, but, um, but yeah, I know like Apple, like Apple, <laughs> you Swedish. Yes, Swedish. Yo, welcome back, AC. What you talking about? We were talking about for just the past three seconds, talking about Swedish a little bit. <laughs> you added the wrong person, Em. <laughs> Mi nombre es John. Mi nombre es John. Yo soy Mar Marco. ¿De dónde eres, John? You're German. Ah, okay. Nice, nice. Daniel es de Estados Unidos y él es uh, estudiante en China. Daniel es de Estados Unidos y él es estudiante en China. Entschuldigung. Entschuldigung. We got a problem. Entschuldigung. <laughs> Juan, ¿de dónde eres? Hello. Juan, ¿de dónde eres? De Madrid y tú. What's the problem? Oh, uh, I think you you uh, you added AC instead of uh, n uh, noke nokevnok in California in California. Mi nombre. Mi nombre. My name. Yo soy estudiante de es uh, español y vivo en España. Español. Él es un él es él es un estudiante de España. Él es un God, words are hard today. <laughs> Él es un estudiante de España. ¿Tú eres un estudiante? Eres. E eres. I don't know why that was hard for me. Yeah, I think um, I think M meant to say that to Nokevnak. El estudiante. El estudian estudiante. Uh, I think they were just, I think they just were mistaken. AC, no worries. I don't think they meant any harm. I'm kind of lost. Yo, yo estoy, uh, estoy per perdido. <laughs> estoy perdido también. Sí. Mi nombre es Carmen. Mi nombre es Carmen. Yeah, I think they were, they were just talking to Nov, Novik, Novkevnok, but they just, um, they were mistaken. All is good. I don't think there was any ill will. Mi nombre. Yo vivo en Boston. Yo vivo en Boston. I am. Uh, I am. I live in Boston. Mm 
<ríe> Estoy perdido porque no sé qué pasa, sí. <ríe> sí, sí. You want to learn another language? Well, I hope I hope you're able to, M. Um, if you do, uh, if you do Duolingo, it is free. Um, there's a lot of other language learning programs out there. There's also YouTube. YouTube is very, very nice for learning other languages. Do Mandarin. Yeah, if you want, you could learn like... If you start with like one of the hardest languages, then every other language is going to be <laughs> easy, right? <laughs> Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. It's really cool seeing people. Um, I've uh, I've sat in on a couple of um, dual uh, dual immersion classrooms that are Chinese and English, and it's it's really cool how uh, how well some people can speak Chinese um, when they are in those programs for many years. Yo vivo en Estados Unidos. I live in the United States. The American United States. Yo vivo en Virginia. Yo vivo en Virginia. ¿De dónde eres, Juan? ¿De dónde eres, Juan? ¿De dónde eres, Juan? Tú y yo. Tú y yo. You and I. Tú y yo. El niño y la niña. El niño y la niña. Marco, ¿de dónde eres? Mar Merco. Marco, ¿de dónde eres? <laughs> you, hate, you hate and love German with passion. <laughs> That's completely valid. I'm from the U.S. What the fuck is a kilometer? How much is that in freedom f feet? I don't know. <laughs> How many is that in freedom units? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um let's do a little bit more Spanish and then I think I'm going to switch over to Latin here after I list after I take a short music break. Uh Ella es de Cuba? Ella es de Cuba? No, el sandwich. Sí. <laughs> no es mexicano. Cuba Cuba es interesante. Cuba es interesante. Don't forget the banger. Oh, yes, yes. No, uh, no se ve. I will remember that. I will remember that song. Me llamo Marcelo y soy cubano. Soy. I probably will. I like that other song a lot. That other song was Cuba good. Cuba es interesante. Cuba es interesante. Cuba is interesting. Alberto es de México y Camila es de Cuba. Él es mexicano y ella es cubana. El, ella. Julia es cubana. Julia es cubana. Julia es cubana. Um, today I'm going to be doing some Latin after Spanish. Um, other than that, I'm not sure how long I'll stream today. Usually when I stream for like three hours, I get a little restless, but we'll see. Nosotros vemos. Um, but... Latin first, yeah. Ella es cubana y él es cubano. Cubano. It's been a it's been a little bit of time since I've done Latin, so that'll be some good review. Pedro es cubano. Pedro es cubano. Julia es interesante. Julia es interesante. Interesante. Sí. Yo vivo en México y soy mexicano. Ella es mexicana. México. Yo soy cubana. Yo soy cubana, cubana. Du solst, du solst, soltest, du soltest der Wolf, der Wolf Freestyle anhören, anhören. Du solst der Wolf Freestyle anhören. I don't know, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Carmen es de México. Carmen es de México. Woof. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Ay. Mexico. Eres mexicano. Eres mexicano. Oh, I learned how to say I'm joking in Spanish the other day. Yo bromeando. <laughs> Which is good, because, like, I sometimes joke, but I don't know how to say I'm joking in Spanish, so 
it's good that that I know now. It says a lot of inappropriate stuff. Está bien, está bien. Eres mexicano? Are you Mexican? Pedro is Mexicano. Pedro is Mexicano. Pedro is Mexican. Julia is interesante. Julia is interesante. Mexico is interesante. My my brain just keeps trying to type interesante, but I have to like stop myself every time. Okay, let's finish this thing up and then we'll uh, switch to Latin after I listen to some music. Soy de Estados Unidos. Soy de Estados Unidos. I am from the American United States. <laughs> ¿Tú eres de España? ¿Tú eres de España? ¿Tú eres de España? En Estados Unidos. In the Estados Unidos. <laughs> in the Estados Unidos. In the United States. Tu eres de Estados Unidos? Tu eres Estados Unidos? Tu eres. Tu eres de Estados Unidos? De Estados Unidos? Ich sage. I don't even know how to say it. <laughs> ich sage. I, I don't know how to say this. It pronounces. Ich sage Ihnen. Ich sage Ihnen spielen, spielen, spielen Sie das nicht in der Öffen, Öffentlichkeit, Öffentlichkeit mit englischsprachigen Menschen. Sie. <laughs> ja, ja, gut. <laughs> Sie. Mi, mi Meine Hunde, mein Hund, meine Hund ist sehr groß. Es, es ist sehr groß. Uh, de donde es uh, el uh, hombre? Every time I think of German now, I like, <laughs> almost every time I think of German, I just think of Kit Boga. Just every time he's like, "Expeka, uh, expeka ein bisschen Deutsch." Me, uh, mein Hund ist sehr groß. <laughs> every time he's like talking to somebody over the phone, it's really funny. <laughs> uh, yo vivo en uh, los Estados Unidos. Uh, Es el niño cuba el niño cubano es el niño cubano cubano el niño es cubano en los Estados Unidos. Oh, I think my package is here. I could be wrong. But... Or somebody is at the door. I'm not going to answer though. <laughs> Who answers their door anymore? Delivered today. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's 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 my package. Okay. Mein Hund ist sehr gross. Sehr sehr gross. <laughs> okay. Um Okay, let's uh, take a short music break, and then we will switch over to some Latin. Ser, ser gross. Switch to some Swedish. I could maybe do some Swedish after Latin today. I was trying to think of what I would start next. Um, but why that line? <laughs> it's just funny. It's just a funny, super basic thing to say in German, I think. It's it's basically the funny thing is it's just him always saying it whenever he is saying that he speaks German to some person some like so Kit Boga calls a bunch of scammers um on his stream and he will like occasionally he'll um he'll be like uh, he'll he'll ask them sprechen ein Deutsch sprechen Deutsch and then they might 
they might be like yeah yeah i, I speak you know and then he'll he'll just say that <laughs> it's kind of funny um what about mandarin i M- mandarin is gonna be something i start someday i don't know we'll see though it's not as hard as it looks well at first i could see that i mean i'm sure it is one of those things that if i learned how it kind of how the system kind of works then that might help but anyway um yeah i'm not sure what the next language i'll start will be i feel like there's less languages on here than i saw last time um i will be taking a russian class here in this next semester as well as a spanish class so i might start russian um sometime soon but we can yeah we might we might look into sw- i was thinking like russian or greek or swedish or german or every language <laughs> that's true i guess i could do a couple of different things today all right well i think i think we'll do that we'll try and do some more languages after i do some latin and we'll just make it a bit of a longer stream there's so many like all the languages <laughs> everybody everyone's like do this start this now i'll just say fuck everybody and start polish <laughs> all right let's uh let's go look up that music real quick um okay so 